continue our coverage of Sea Future 2025 in La Spezia, Italy. We are now with uh, French SME Alcimar. They are showcasing their Sea Explorer underwater glider. It now comes with defense applications. They just uh, demonstrated some uh, capabilities during uh, Repmus in Portugal. And to find out more, uh, we are meeting with uh, Hugo Delattre, business uh, Development Manager for NATO countries at Alcimar. Hugo, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. Thank you. So you just demonstrated uh, the capability of the Sea Explorer to act as an underwater acoustic barrier during Ripmus. Uh, can you please tell us more about this experiment? Yeah, of course. So Alcimar has been part of the Ripmus exercise for the last five years. Uh, this year, in 2025, we deployed six Sea Explorer underwater gliders. Uh, equipped with our passive acoustic payload section called ORIS and our task during the exercise was to passively detect and localize all the underwater acoustic signatures from other companies uh, deployed during the, the Repmus exercise. So for us the main task here was the detection of these acoustic signatures uh, and then to send all the data back to uh, the other assets deployed. Would you qualify uh, the experiment as uh, the Sea Explorer acting in swarms? Were they coordinated? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the six Sea Explorers were uh, working together uh, as a fleet um, and we had really good feedbacks from uh, the organization but also uh, from the uh, different delegation attending the, the event. So we were very happy with it. And uh, yeah, the idea for us uh, is always to uh, showcase our new capabilities, especially this year uh, in the acoustic, because we were part of the underwater warfare group. Um, so yeah, for us, uh, it was a really good event, really good feedbacks also. So we hope to be deployed for the next editions. What is the main advantage of using uh, underwater gliders for uh, acoustic detections? The idea with the glider is that it can remain at sea for a long period of time. So, of course, for the whole three weeks of the exercise of uh, Repmus. Um, so, yeah, for us, the time at sea is really a game changer for the acoustic capabilities. Also, we are able to, uh, as I said, navigate in fleet and to cover large areas. So it's really important uh, for the gliders to continue to, to move in a specific area you can detect without being seen or we, without being detected. So it's really a game changer for the navies. And, and I think, uh, well, that's the future because it's something that several navies are looking at. Uh, for example, uh, the, the Royal Navy with uh, several projects like uh, Atlantic Net or uh, Project uh, Cabot, I guess. Yeah. Lastly, Hugo, do you have uh, Navy customers yet for the Sea Explorer? Yeah, yeah, of course we have. Um, the French Navy just announced uh, and signed us the first contract for five gliders in last June. Uh, we just announced it uh, during the summer. And we have also other customers abroad. Uh, of course, the Portuguese Navy uh, that deployed two other Sea Explorer underwater gliders uh, during the Repmus exercise. Uh, and also other navies around the world, uh, some in Asia uh, and in South America. So yeah, the navies are kind of really interested in this kind of uh, technology at the moment. And we see a growing interest for it. All right, you go. Thank, Thank you. you